progress, not perfection, is one of the best antidotes for the perfectionist. As a recovering perfectionist myself, I can tell you that with yesterday being Thanksgiving, that I was able to not overeat and overindulge. This is huge because I am also recovering from a compulsive overeating disorder. And when you put the two together, you go into all or nothing. So you can either just completely binge or restrict. And that was the cycle that I was caught in for a really long time until I started working with a registered dietitian about seven months ago. And so yesterday I was able to really have a great amount of peace around food and that is really the progress that I wanna share with you. So the message here is that if you are working through something yourself, whether it is an addiction, whether it is exercise, whether it is how to show up differently in a relationship or a job and you tend to have these perfectionistic behaviors like you go into all or nothing black or white if I don't get it all done perfectly the right way and the right just the right way then you just kind of quit and give up and fail and then you feel shitty and you feel lousy because you couldn't get the goal or the achievement or whatever it is you were trying to do then this is where this middle ground, this gray area, having self-compassion and just focusing on progress, just a little bit at a time. So I wasn't perfect yesterday on Thanksgiving. I still had a couple glasses of wine. I still, you know, had um, a good amount of food for dinner, but it was so much better than it was in the past. I didn't overeat or overindulge on desserts. I didn't sit and eat chips all day long like I would have in the past. So, and by focusing on just those little improvements and the progress gives me the motivation and will give you the motivation as well to keep going because it is the progress, it's looking back on how we are moving forward that will keep us going on our path. So if you found this helpful and you want more in-depth types of conversations on how to recover from people pleasing and perfectionism, check out my podcast, Masks Off for People Pleasers and Perfectionists. You can find it on Apple, Spotify, and it's on YouTube.